Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How's life in your world? How's things where you are? Everything here is pretty great. I know that today I was planning on talking to you about um, a TV series and, and do another review, but instead I'm going to need your assistance. Now, I have a dog. I have a little dog. He is a wiener lab. Oh, this is him. His name is DJ, and he is wiener size and lab uh, temperament. So he's a really, he's a good dog for the most part, except that he has a taste for human food. And um, we have to be careful about the trash can. And uh, it's been an issue before, and it's just been one of those things that I've been meaning to correct for a while. Um, what I used to do is where the trash can was sitting, I eventually just said, screw it, I'm going to put it. I had like a old end table and I just put it on top of that. So the old end table sat at the end of the kitchen counter, trash can sat on top of that, he couldn't get to it. And that worked. But when we did uh, the renovations re recently in that room, that, that old end table was really bad. Like the other dogs had peed on it and stuff and it was just horrific. So I decided that had to go. So I've been putting the trash can back and he's been pretty okay. Cause it's set, it's set up there for a year. I mean, it's been up there for a long time. So he wasn't able to get to the trash for a long time. Well. In the last three days, he's gotten into the trash twice. He's discovered that he can get into the trash again, and that's a problem. And I've been meaning to make some sort of like um, thing to put the trash can in where you open it, kind of, kind of like a cabinet or something. But the problem that I have with those is you have to touch the thing to get into the trash can. And generally, when I'm cooking, especially, I've got, I've got chicken fat on me and slime and you know, eggshells and stuff. I don't want to be grabbing this nastiness all the time to open the trash can. So I've thought of ways to add a pedal lid or something like that. But then recently I realized I don't really need to cover the trash can. Um, I take the trash out pretty regularly, so I don't have to worry about stink. It's more or less just needs to get the trash can above his head height when he's standing up on his back legs. That way he can't get into it. Uh, he can't tip it over, so he the way he tipped it over is by getting his face up into the trash can and then pulling it over. So I was like, well, I'll build a thing that holds the trash can up higher and then maybe has like a smaller, um, like a dog food container in the front. And that's just been one of those, another one of those projects that came uh, a little too close to Christmas and I just couldn't ever get it done. And then this happened again and he got into the trash again today. And I said, all right, I'm going to do something about this. So I came downstairs and I was rooting around in all of my scrap wood and I said there's got to be enough materials in this house to make something. And uh, all I really wanted to do was have a way to kind of encapsulate the trash can and lift it up 10 to 12 inches. That's, that's more than enough for him to not be able to get into it. So I looked around and I found uh, I did have some pine, but I also had a couple of old chairs. And these couple of old chairs are attractive. And um, so as we were... As, as we were looking through the stuff that we had, uh, my friend pointed out, like, what if we took these chairs apart and put them back together? And so we talked about that, talked about the thing that I was going to make. So what we decided to do was make both. Um, we each took a project and we built it uh, without the other's input. And then, um, yeah, we need you to judge. So there's going to be a couple of pictures that I'm going to show you here. One of them is a scratch build uh, the other one is uh, upcycling of two old dining room chairs that just lifts the trash can and kind of provides a, a barrier between him and the trash can. So um, I will put up picture one here. This is uh, the first one. Um, I'm not going to tell you who made which. And then I will put up picture two. And I need you to tell me which one you like better. One or two. It's just that simple. Comment down below, one or two, and we'll tally it up. Um, maybe I'll link to a Twitter poll or something, but I think it would just be easier to keep the comments here. Or maybe I'll do both and tally them myself. Uh, we Winner gets to keep their design, so uh, it's, it's all stakes, all the stakes uh, for now, because these are obviously both temporary solutions to this problem. So, uh, but, you know, you know, temporary has a odd way of becoming more permanent than you expected. So 
that's all I want from you today. That's all I need from you today. I hope that you got something out of this. If nothing else, you got to see my uh, odd approach to solving a problem that should probably involve behavior training. <laughs> so thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends. I hope I'll see you again tomorrow. Hey Doc, wait! I want to ask you something. Today's in fact comes from un.int which is the fifth largest country in the world. Brazil is the largest of the Latin American countries covering nearly half of the continent of South America. It occupies an area of 3,286,470 square miles and is the fifth largest country in the world after Russia, Canada, China, and the United States. Did I just say China? <laughs> <laughs>